How to run a pricing file for CFS. Pricing for CFS can be handled in one of four ways. Prices can be altered manually. A discount or multiplier can be applied to the distributed price. A pricing app can gather real-time pricing from the web. Or a pricing file is run through CFS. In this video, we'll show you how to update your CFS pricing using your formatted pricing file. If you aren't sure whether or not your pricing file is properly formatted, please see our other tutorial, How to Format a Pricing File. We recommend that you create a backup of your CFS before you run a pricing file. Once that is done, open CFS and go to your Utilities tab. Open Update Master File. You'll need to enter your company's code word to access this area. Now we're going to open one of our records to find this manufacturer's company code. On the Maintenance tab, click Open Record and then Search. In the record, the company code is the two or three characters listed in front of the source code. Now let's go back to the Maintenance tab. Hit Cancel to avoid accidentally making changes. Close the Open Record search window. On the Maintenance tab, double-click Change List Price. In this window, scroll down and double-click Remote Pricing File. The Remote Pricing File window will open. Check and read Remote Pricing File should already be highlighted and the options below should already be marked as Source Number, Ignore Zero Prices, and Update the List Price. These options are fine the way they are and rarely need changed. Click OK and the File Explorer window will pop open. Browse to where you've saved your file and click on it to select it. Then click Open. You'll receive a message stating, You are about to load new pricing information. Are you sure you want to do this? Click Yes to proceed. You'll want to enter in the two or three digit code for the manufacturer, which we located earlier. This code is case sensitive, so make sure you enter it the same way it appears in the file. In this case, capital M, capital H for Master Halco. And click OK. If the pricing utility detects that a price is three times greater or smaller than the current price, it will give you a warning message. Here, you'll have the option to click Yes, replace the current price with this drastically different price, No to ignore the incoming price, or No to all to ignore all incoming prices that are drastically different. Sometimes these drastically different prices are due to an individual item being priced as a box or simply a typo while the file was being created. I'll click No to All for now. When your file is done running, you'll have access to a report that will show you all of your drastically different prices so that you can check each one. I can always rerun the file later after I investigate these items. After your pricing file is complete, you'll come to a Pricing Report menu. This menu will contain a summary of each category and what was priced. You can choose to display or print each category based on what was priced or not priced by clicking the appropriate tab. You also have a Price of Zero tab. Here you can change any unpriced items from this manufacturer to zero. This is a great option for items that are rarely purchased. However, be aware that any estimates done with these zero priced items will show up as Call for Quote in your estimate. And if the item is used in assembly, it can mess up the price of your assembly so it is selling for less than it should. On the right hand side of the price menu, 
you have access to three very helpful pricing reports. Items that were priced, drastically different prices, and items not found in the system. Looking at the items that were priced report, you can see that it gives several columns of information. The record number in the master file, the source number that was matched, item description, original price, incoming price, and whether you chose to update the price. Reviewing your drastically different prices report, we can use the record numbers to check and adjust these items as needed. The last report, Items Not Found in System, will show you all of the source numbers that couldn't be matched with an item in your master file. These source numbers may have been deleted from your master file because you don't use them, they might never have been added, or might not be properly formatted. Using all three of these reports together can help you make sure that your pricing file was properly formatted and run. Running a pricing file can be a highly efficient way of managing your pricing. Not only have the prices been updated within a matter of minutes, but the reports created provide an overview of pricing for this manufacturer. For more information on pricing, Please see our other YouTube tutorials.